This is a field of uh, winter wheat that uh, followed a corn crop last year. We planted it in September. We have a clay loam soil here, which is one reason I grow wheat. In the springtime, when it, can, when it gets quite wet, uh, we don't have a great window of opportunity to plow it under. Rye would go to stock a lot quicker than wheat, at least two weeks earlier than wheat. And wheat uh, stays uh, shorter and more leafy. So that helps me in my management, uh, especially in a wet spring, because I can plow it down and still end up with a nice seed bed without having to mow it and then plow it. One of the things to be aware of when growing wheat, though, is that it is an alternate host to thrips, onion thrips, uh, which in our case is becoming a big problem. Cover crops are an integral part of sustainable agriculture because of their role in soil stewardship, pest management, and crop rotation. While many vegetable farmers in the Northeast use cover crops, typically the practice is limited to small grains for preventing winter soil erosion. This video features 10 experienced vegetable farmers from five states, explaining how they use cover crops in more innovative ways. The farmers describe which species of cover crops they plant and how they are managed. Viewers can decide for themselves whether a particular practice is suited for trial on their own farm.